Yo, back again with another my team video. And I'm going to go over my top 20 best cards in my team. Next week, I'm going to do like a bare tier list, but I got a stream in like 30 minutes. So, and I wanted to provide y'all a tier list and it would take longer to make. So, I'm just going to do my top 20 first impression cards because like obviously we can't try out Benedict or someone there but it might change and vary within next week so we're just gonna call it a first impression list and there's some honorable mentions probably that's being left off the win is probably like Dirk no Wixie. Dirk no Wixie, who's really he's actually a nice car and James Harden that are both really good, but I mean, this list was tough. So we had to keep some names off of the list. And yeah, we're just gonna, I mean, Jamal Crawford, cause I don't really know how he plays like, so I didn't want to rank him. It's hard to rank him right now, but we'll, in due time, when people start to get him, we get him. We'll start to know how to rank him better. But first thing first, let's start off at number 20. Jason Tatum. Okay, I, I personally don't use this car because, like, I mean, there's Tatum Thomas, there's other small forwards. But this Jason Tatum is elite, though. Don't get it wrong. He has literally good shooting badges. All the gold defensive badges. Vice grips, you need to add that to him. Interior defense, he's 6'8". You wish he could play the two guard, but... Jason Tatum's jump shot is also very cheesy. He can bang it in your face like there's no tomorrow. I wish they would drop a better Jason Tatum. Like, I wish he got in a shooting guard edition for the All-Star game, but 2K trolled us all with that moment challenge. So, yeah. So coming in number 20 is him, but I was really close to putting Dirk on the list, but I almost forgot about Bob Nidaleke. Adding in at number 19. 86 speed, a really good release. Like, Bob Nealiki is really good. Still, if you need a good cheap four, like, I mean, let me check the mark. I'm gonna check it in the background. Bob Nealiki is selling for. He's 160k? 60k still. And this card is still elite to this day. So, I'm definitely going to suggest him. Has good dunking tendencies. He's elite at everything. I, I I have to suggest him. I like him. And yeah, I got I got I gotta suggest I have to suggest him. He's a good card. Next up we got Next up we got Yeet. Like I really still like this card a lot. Like uh, it was hard ranking it, but Yeet is still really, really good. Personally, I think he's one of the best power forwards in the game. He has 85 speed, 85 acceleration. This was a really good free card. Sure, there's better options than Yeet. But for a free card coming in at number 18, this card was better. And I personally like him more than KG. I'm sorry to the people that like Kevin Garnett, the egghead himself. But he didn't make the list, if you want to know. He sucks. Like, I'm just sorry. KG just sucks. You can disagree. We can agree to disagree. Don't hate me in the comment section for saying Kevin Garnett is garbage. But number 17, I made a list in front of me. We're using Denny at number 17. DBG said he is better than, like he is better than, what's his name? Ben Simmons, which is just crazy and wild. He said he said that. Blasphemously, I disagree with that. But Denny is really good. That one thing he's right, he is really good. He can't get hyperdrive, can't get limitless agent three, so he's lacking there. But like this card, give him rise up. Probably so stand up at 75. Yeah, give him rise up. He has really good defensive tendencies. A 95 driving dunk. I like I like Danny. Danny was really good using him, and he's a really solid point guard. Personally speaking. Next up we got George Gervin. This card might be ranked higher in the future. I don't know if 
fully exactly how his release is on very quick but i know like his release from previous is weird isn't that good but maybe on very quick it becomes a solid release he has only has gold agent threes and limitless still though this card is really really decent so i got i gotta rank him nice and high right now as a collector card he looks decent Wish they had juiced his tendencies, though. Those defensive tendencies are kind of disgusting. But we'll see. Coming in at number 16, we got Scotty Pippen. Agent 3's Catch Shoot, Blinders, Claymore, Limitless Range, Amp, Comeback Kid, Deadeye. Like, Scotty Pippen is very elite, one of the best defenders in the game, but really no one can defend his game. It's just the way it is but Scottie Pippen is really good still wish they have fixed his tendencies uh, Scotty should have lit defense but it's whatever but number 14 I put Carmelo Anthony and Alex English at 14 because they're basically the same dang card and Carmelo Anthony to me I like him a lot you're gonna have to give him a few defensive badges and or Alex English, but literally Melo's release is really good. Good release. Let me check Alex English. They like change any tendencies up for him or kept them the same. And they're about they're about the same tendency wise. He has better driving dunk tendency. I noticed that, but literally almost identical car, and they're both gonna be amazing on the court. Like Melo's amazing. So Alice English is 100% going to be amazing. So coming in at number 14 is Alex English and Carmelo Anthony. Number 13, we got Zion Williamson. I love this Zion. I'm high on him. 97 speed. Like with that O'Shea brisket release, his dunks are amazing. His standing dunks are amazing. I love Zion. And I personally think he's one of the best cards in my team. Like, he is so good. I really would have loved to choose Zion for 250 because he just dominates the court. Like, no, like, he just, he just good like that, honestly. And I, I can't wait for more future Zion cards in the future. Next up, we got Tim Thomas at number 12, which is crazy he's this low. Because Tim Thomas has been dominating everybody until this season i mean he been just cooking and he can still run till this day and he got 86 interior 86 perimeter i mean good defense solid everything lamella ball trey young it's he is just he is just really decent quick dribble style lamella ball driving dunk a 90 86 offensive rebounding like he is a really decent card and he is he is really nice number 11 we got lebron james lebron lebron james which my, people might say is low but with the cards in front of him that's just my opinion kyle corbin release is all right it's nothing like amazing it's better than his old release i didn't really like his old jumper but you know, LeBron just sometimes be selling me too much. But he's done. He gets the job done, you know. I have a 50 haul badge when he still sells me. So, but LeBron is still really good in my team. So, I still got to respect that. And number 10, I would probably rank Jokic. I probably would rank him higher. But it's because I have a juicy Jokic. But base, I'm gonna have to, I have to like rank it off of how the card many plays without him. So 90 speed, 90 acceleration. He has a good release. He moves really good for a center. With the Eric Pesh full shot, which is decent. Jimmy Butler, Kobe. But once you get that release down, I wish they gave a normal laner, but it's not the end of the world. He's decent. Like I, I really, really like Jokic. Good card. Now this dart up next is Moses Malone. I need to see more gameplay of him. But Moses Malone could even be ranked higher. He has 86 three-pointer, 91 speed. He has amazing defense, good speed with ball, M almost maxed out defensive badges, good shooting badges. You got to Agent 3 is limitless, a couple more badges and handles, and a couple badges, not that major. He gets maxed defensive tendencies. 
juiced offensive dunk tendencies. He gets Carl Malone on very quick. He gets Michael Jordan elite phase. I mean, please tell me that this card is not juice. This card is a um, he look he look his card. He looks amazing on paper. I'm just saying. But like I said, his first impressions. I don't know how good this card can be, but on paper. This car looks like one of the most dangerous cards, say like even at the four position. Like he probably, we gotta see how he look in game, but what is his wingspan? Seven two wings, me crazy. Next up we got Vince Carter, Kyle Kuzma release. I like Vince Carter a lot. Like he is very, very good. The fact that he has Kuzma, he has all of that at six six. I'm very high on Vince Carter, so I, I like him. And number seven, we got Ben Simmons. 6'11. Ben Simmons, you wish he had a higher three pointer. But you can give him the plus eight with the Galaxy Opal. That's 73. You can give him to an 82 three pointer. Give him catch shoot. Give him a couple shooting badges. You got to give him some shooting. And then Ben Simmons becomes a cable shooter. He's 6'11. A great defender. I mean. Quick, normal leaner. I mean, this card is decent on current, next gen. It just doesn't matter. And I'm carrying them at number seven. Number six, we're ranking Giannis onto the Copa. Personally, I don't know if Moses Malone might be better done. But we gotta wait and see on that. But he got 95 speed, 79 shot free. The only thing I wish he had was a better shot release. Because, like, how you gonna update LeBron but not Giannis or update Team Mac and not Giannis? But it's whatever. Giannis onto the Kubo, quick, has a good dribble style, Damian Lillard behind the back, it just, Giannis is really good, and I, I like Giannis onto the Kubo, and he's very good, that's all I gotta say about him. Next up, we got David Robinson, and you know, D-Rod, the biceps is really, really good, but let me like do this in the background. But he has 97, 3, 91. I mean, this card is just juice. This yard is just 7, 5 wingspan. I mean, he's the best four in my team. And it's not even... There's not even a debate. He's the best four in my team. That's all I got to say about the biceps. You, you're just not messing. You're not messing with the biceps. He's just... He's OD. Next up, we got Magic Johnson. And I think he's the best point guard in the game. He has the good, solid, behind the back, quick, Michael Jordan elite. I mean, he, Steve Francis, especially his updated card, he is very good. And I and I got to rank him number four. On my tier list, a 94 speed with ball, 94 ball control, and I offensive read. I mean, yeah, this card is number four. But now we're hopping into our top three cards. And I'm going to rank the band man and Mike. Billy Knight, I feel like they come in the same place because, you know, these cards are giving me nightmares at night, making me stay up all night, trying to get them, and uh, they just won't give me them. So it's just brutal. Recently, he has Hall of Fame anchor, and then with the duo, just gets limit. I mean, slippery. Just, it's. Uh, it becomes a straight demigod. This band man has Kuzma, Rudy Gay, I mean, it's, it's, it's an game in my team, like, they, these cards are crazy good, and that's really all you gotta say about Billy Knight and the band, man, they're both, they both become just straight up demigods on the court together, it's just, uh, even, even without playing them together, they still are really good. Off Limitless, still getting Rudy Gay and Oscars release, and that's these cards are just straight up gassed. But at number two, which is close to Billy Knight, you got Tracy McGrady. That Kevin Porter jumper is amazing with 96 speed, 96 speed. T Mac is basically a demigod in this game with Kevin Porter. 
and Asuka. The fact that they gave them that cheesy release, it's probably too overpowered for this stage in my team, but I mean, 2K just don't care, really. I mean, they're just, yeah, it's, it's end game. It is, it, it is, just, it is just, it is just end game. It's just nothing more to say. They actually did update his driving dunk tendencies. I just noticed that they did update that, but. And I feel like the best card in my team is Yao Ming still. Still, Team Mac and Yao are close. But Yao Ming is still the best guard in my team. 7-6. No one on the court is stopping him. Size matters. Yao. He just transforms the game. and He's the best card in my team. But yeah. That is my first impression. Top 20 list. Let me know in the comment section. You agree. You disagree with my top 20 list. And yeah. See y'all in the next my team video. And keep.